Engineering Academy. We are discussing combination right now. And this is video lecture number 12. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 11 before watching part 12. Today we are going to discuss different tricks and techniques used for solving questions in competitive examination. In combination. And uh, that is very key point to understand any phenomena and questions related to combinations, how you can use this and what are the usage of all those techniques that we are going to discuss today. So let me explain few things and few points that you must note down and thereafter we will discuss some more questions. So first thing is that, first point is out of n, out of n different points, different points in a plane plane in which no any three or more points are collinear three or more points are collinear collinear the total number of or you can say out of n non different non-collinear points out of n different non-collinear points non-collinear points collinear points it can be also said like this but technical word is this that no three or more are collinear because two points are always collinear you know so n different non-collinear points first the total number of straight lines that can be drawn straight lines that can be drawn that can be drawn is NC2 NC2 why? because for two points for joining a line if there are any points like this to joining any two points we got a straight line if I join these two points, we get another straight line. Similarly, these two points will got another straight line. So definitely, selecting two points at a time, we will have one straight line. Why combination? Why not permutation? Combination is that because if I join A point to B or B to A, change in order will not change the line. It will be the same line. Whether A join with B or B join with A is the same line. Here change in order will not change the line, not change the selection of the line and that is why combination will be used. Here two points to be selected to find one particular line and therefore out of any distinct point in a plane and in which three or more are not collinear we can have a number of straight lines in C2. Similarly, if someone wanted to find out the number of diagonals, the number of diagonals, number of diagonals that can be drawn, that can be drawn is how many? That will be in C2 minus N. Or we can write n into n minus 3 by 2. If you solve them, it will come like n into n minus 3 by 2. Why n c2 minus n? Because out of n c2 line which we can draw, n lines are exterior lines that can be considered as inside of polygon. And out of those n sides, if I would subtract those n sides out of nc2 then we will get the number of diagonals. We will give some example in support of all this. nc2 minus n will come like n into n minus 3 by 2. So it will be better to learn like this n into n minus 3 by 2. nc2 you know nc2 is nc2 is n into n minus 1 by 2 and nc2 minus n will be equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 minus n if I would take n common then n minus 1 by 2 minus 1 
if I would take n common then it will be n minus 1 minus 2 upon 2 and finally it will come n into n minus 3 by 2. So that is the number of diagonals. The number of triangles, the number of triangles, the number of triangles will be nc3 because three points needed to draw a triangle. Similarly, the number of quadrilaterals, number of quadrilaterals, quadrilaterals will be nc4 etc. Pentagon nc5, hexagon nc6, heptagon nc7 like that. So that is all we can draw. Now let me explain all these things with some examples. Thereafter I'll give some new techniques. So please try to understand. Um, some examples I am giving here in support of all this. Few questions just to clear this. I hope you have noted it. And now one question is very first question from this section is how many straight lines can be drawn? How many straight lines? Straight lines can be drawn from nine non-collinear points, non-collinear points in a plane, points in a plane. So since we have nine non-collinear points and therefore the number of straight lines that can be drawn is 9C2, 9C2 and therefore answer will be 9C2 and 9C2 is 9 into 8 by 2 so this is 4 times 9 4 jar 36 so 36 different straight lines that can be drawn from this we can take another example how many straight lines straight lines that can be drawn can be drawn from five non collinear points in a plane non collinear points in a plane non collinear points in a plane in a plane then what will be answer in the similar way you must write here answer would be 5c2 that is 5 into 4 by 2 that is 10 let us check out the practically whether this is a 10 lines or more 3 4 and 5 if i would draw the line by joining them then one line is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 yes this is a 10 lines so you have seen this formula is okay you can draw 10 lines out of 5 non collinear points in a plane but out of them these exterior lines are these 5 exterior lines are called sides sides of pentagon because 5 points so pentagon 3 points join together it will make a triangle 4 points join together it will make quadrilateral so similarly 5 points join it will make pentagon having 5 sides so these 5 sides are considered to be exterior lines and apart from these 5 lines out of 10 remaining 5 lines are considered to be diagonals so therefore we have number of diagonals how many diagonals are there? 5 only because total number of lines minus total number of exterior sides that will give the number of diagonals so there can be another question how many diagonals can be drawn how many diagonals can be drawn or you can write how many diagonals are diagonals are of hexagon hexagon you must be knowing about that hexagon having how many sides 
hexagon having six sides or you can say like if six non-collinear points are joined together then how many diamonds can be drawn so as per formula we can write answer n into n number of diamonds are number of diamonds are either nc2 minus n or the second formula in simplified form a n into n minus 3 by 2 hexagon has 6 points 6 sides so 6 into 6 minus 3 by 2 so that we cancel 3 times 6 minus 3 is 3 3 3 is 9 so in hexagon there are 9 diagonals let me prove this whether there are 9 diagonals or more this is a hexagon say like this this is a hexagon are there 9 diagonals? Let me check out. 1 diagonal, 2 diagonal, 3 diagonal. Then 4 diagonal, 5 diagonal and 6 diagonal. Now 7, 7 and 8. And now one more, 8, 9. Yes, 9 diagonal. So you can see that the formula is okay. You can find the number of diagonals by using this formula n into n minus 3 by 2 or nc2 minus n that will be 6c2 minus 6 6c2 is 15 minus 6 that will be also 9 using this but in competition they can ask the reverse question like a polygon has 14 diagonals how many sides does it have question is a polygon polygon has 14 diagonals 14 diagonals how many sides does it have how many sides does it have it has this is the question so I can write here to solve this question I can write number of diagonals are what n into n minus 3 by 2 this is the number of diagonals and that is given 14 so I can write this n into n minus 3 is equal to 28. This 28 further can be written as n into n minus 3 is equal to 7 into 4. These two are differ by 3. These two are also differ by 3. And the same pattern they are broken. And therefore we can compare bigger 1 is equal to bigger 1. So n is equal to 7. That will be answered. Even a smaller one is equal to a smaller one, that will also lead to n minus 3 is equal to 4 and therefore n is equal to 7. I had already discussed about this method, right, that you can compare and you can find in terms of natural number, you can do that. Those who do not want to do that, they can make a quadratic equation and solve it like this n square minus 3n minus 28 is equal to 0 then further they can write n square minus 7n plus 4n minus 28 is equal to 0 then further they can write n take common n minus 7 and 4 take common then what will come n minus 7 is equal to 0 further they can take n minus 7 common that will left n plus 4 is equal to 0 Either n is equal to 7 or n is equal to minus 4, right? But uh, n cannot be negative, number of points cannot be negative, so n is equal to 7. But that is all wastage of time, nothing else. You can compare like this and you can find the result of the question, right? So a polygon has 14 diagonals. How many sides does it have? The answer is 7. Now, the next type of question is, write some more points. One question definitely coming in your mind that what would happen if some points are collinear. This formula is applicable for all those questions where points are non-collinear and they all lie in the same plane. But generally it is in mind that what would happen if some points are collinear then what will happen. So to find this Write few more points and thereafter we will discuss in question. Some more points are there. Out of n different points in a plane, points in a plane, 
m of which are collinear m of which are collinear collinear then first point the number of straight line then the number of straight lines lines that can be drawn can be drawn by joining them can be drawn by joining them is nc2 minus mc2 plus 1 nc2 minus mc2 plus 1 why plus 1 because if there are in different distinct points and none of them are collinear in that case total number of line that can be drawn is nc2 but if three or four end points are collinear then how many lines cannot be drawn mc2 line can be drawn by joining them so that is why mc2 i have subtracted but one line on which they lie that can be drawn so that is why plus 1 total number of points are n so nc2 line can be drawn by joining them if m of which are collinear then mc2 points can not draw a distinct line and therefore mc2 is being subtracted now one is added because one line on which they lie that can be drawn i hope you got it similarly the number of triangles the number of triangles that can be drawn that can be drawn by joining them by joining them a nc3 minus mc3 no need to make it here plus 1 because points lie on a line cannot make a triangle and that is why number of triangles that can be drawn is nc3 minus mc3 nc3 minus nc3 but remember a point is to be noted here that this cannot be applied for you must write here in note this concept cannot be applied concept can be applied for a polygon of four or more sides that means what the number of quadrilateral that can be drawn cannot be written like nc4 minus nc4 that would be wrong why it would be wrong we will explain by some example but that would be wrong definitely for number of pentagon we cannot write that nc5 minus nc5 that would be also wrong why we will explain it with example so table example just wait but these two formula is very important you must keep in mind and let me solve some question on the basis of this there after we will discuss what will happen when there is a quadrilateral it to be made or a square or anything it to be made what will happen then so let me write some question and uh, discuss for it what would happen when there are some points are collinear now question is out of nine points in a plane question is out of nine distinct points distinct points in a plane in a plane out of nine distinct point in a plane four of them are collinear collinear how many straight lines can be drawn by joining them how many straight lines straight lines can be drawn by joining them joining them right how many straight 
straight lines. So as per formula, what is the formula for us? That solution is Nc2 minus Mc2 plus 1. What is n here? 9. What is n there? 4. So as per formula, the number of straight lines would be what? Number of straight lines will be 9C2 minus 4C2 plus 1. 9C2 is 9 into 8 by 2. 4C2 is 4 into 3 by 2 plus 1. That would be 9, 4 is 36. And 3, 2 is 6. 36 minus 6 plus 1. That would be 31. So 31 different lines that can be drawn by joining them out of 9 distinct points in which 4 of them are collinear. One more example. Question. How many different triangles? How many different triangles? Triangles can be drawn can be drawn by joining by joining 10 distinct points in a plane distinct points in a plane in a plane in which 6 of them are collinear 6 of them are collinear collinear so as per formula we can go ahead and we can write here solution would be the number of triangles number of triangles will be what ten C two three ten C three minus six C three right ten C three is what ten into nine into eight upon three into two into one minus six C three is six into five into four divided by three into two into one so that would be three three ja nine two four ja eight so four three ja twelve ten ja one twenty and this is 3 to the 6, 5 minus 4, 5 into 4 is 20, so answer would be 100. So 100 triangles can be drawn by joining them. I hope you got it. 10 C3 minus 6 C3, that would be 120 minus 20, it will be 100. 100 triangles can be drawn by joining them. Right? This can be solved by some other method as well. Right? We can solve this question by using some other concept that we will discuss in the next video, right? And uh, hopefully you will be able to understand this, this concept, this mechanism, how to deal with questions. This is a restricted combination. Here some points are given in form of collinear. So depending upon the collinearity, a distinct triangles cannot be drawn by joining them. But we will explain this same question in some other methods in which the same method will be applicable for finding the number of quadrilaterals, pentagon, hexagon whenever some points are collinear. So we will discuss in the next class. Right? Till then, watch our videos and subscribe our channel on YouTube. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. God bless you.